Hey guys, this is Cold Steel. I decided to go this way first because there appear to be just more dogs this way. It looks like the story might be branching off here. Oh, there's the skeletons, so. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold, the gauntlet of Deadly Tower! I'm just gonna bypass all that. that that's a Pomeranian hanging from a rope. Is it. Is it does it bite? When I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently, up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Is this part where I walk past? I'm trying to walk forward. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm about to activate it now. He doesn't know the word, does he? <clears throat> that, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, they're probably going to walk through it. And it won't be any fun at all. Hmm. So this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them. So I'll become a famous sword guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party without traps and fire. Exactly! It's pointless! Maybe you're right to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? <sighs> yeah. What am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undine would have here. Flames. Violence. It's right up her alley. So I won't waste time waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Phew. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> hmm. Guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're gonna have a bad time. What happened to his eyes? Oh, is he talking about the fact that this is a genocide playthrough? Hmm. Since I'm going to be fighting uh, Papyrus soon, I guess I'll go back and do the grinding and what was that? I suppose I'll find out later. Anyway, I'll just uh, cut to that. Okay, I haven't finished grinding, but I'm just gonna continue into Snowden because I can. There's a shop here, save point. Only five left, so that should be easy to take care of. Let's see what's in this chest here. We will use the box. The box is empty. So you're gonna put the tough glove in here. Because we do not need that. Keep the butterscotch pie in case we get low on health at any point. I don't know if the monster candy brings back health or any health or anything. I don't know what to do with the faded ribbon. You're gonna put the stick in here because we don't need that. And we're finished. Let's see shop in Am I gonna mug this person? Just gonna leave now. So I suppose that's the first rabbit that we've seen. Kind of awkward, given that they live in a town of dogs. The Snowed Inn, Snowed Inn's premier hotel. The night is 80 gold. Not gonna stay here. There appears to be a young rabbit here. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. That may be helpful. Hello? Okay. 
Okay, but I'm recording Undertale right now, so I'll call you back. Because I can cut it out. Bye. That was Austin on the phone there. We're actually going to be able to record something after this. Although I'll pro probably end up posting that first. To the other side of town, try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. Guess we'll do that later. That lady over there seems happy today. Don't know why, but it's sending shivers down my spine. Me too, man, me too. Better put a stop to it. Ah, it's so peaceful and quiet. Usually one of those dogs chases my little cinnamon around. Wait, is she walking her child on a leash? These people appear to be living under the tyranny of the dogs and skeletons. You know what's cute? Those two married dogs always put presents under the tree for each other. Well, not anymore. It's always the same. A single bone. But every time they act like it's the first time they've gotten it. Yeah, that's dogs. Then Papyrus comes to take his bones back. Anyway, where were those two? Six feet under, pal. Six feet under. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. That, that's about right. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics. So I guess one that being that fish lady, they said her name several times, but I don't remember what it is. So apparently the devil's just gonna appear in the middle of town here. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Why indeed? It just feels like, like everything is getting worse and worse. And it's only gonna keep getting worse from here. I feel like this has just been a huge waste of my time. I can't kill these people. That's all they want to do. Library? Should I even investigate this? I might as well go into the tavern here. This guy is made of fire. This guy appears like he could put up a fight. Hmm. Is it human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Let's see what the... the capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're gonna start moving here. Who knows? Maybe we'll have room. Yeah, probably not though. This appears to be a fish. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Well, it looks like you are a fish, so that's not really a problem, is it? Unless you're a bird. Then that's weird. Grubbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Because he's fire. Hilarious. Grubbs said he'd offer you a glass of what? Oh. So that's the same dialogue there. See if I can head back here. Huh? You can't go through the fire exit because you're not made of fire. Well, that will change. This appears to be a dog food bowl. And uh, this, I suppose, is a drunken rabbit. It's so quiet in here. Well, lighten up, everybody. This is why I hate th this place. He looks as though he'd be hungover and then went quiet, or at least he will be soon, into the library, which hopefully will be even quieter. Look at these clowns. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. 
When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they would be a waste of time. <coughs> <coughs> but look at me now. <coughs> I'm the number one word search creator <coughs> in the entire underground. That's what happens when you start off with a cough. That look in your eye. You're someone that is difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? No. No, I am not. I'm the kind of guy who doesn't bother doing it because it's fucking stupid. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I actually didn't notice that. Library. Yep, that <laughs> that's misspelled it right. Why are there so many mails? It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. <laughs> kind of like my parents' email. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. Of course, we're going to invade his personal business. It's empty. Figures. Yeah, looks like it's about Christmas time here. Or perhaps it's always Christmas time? I don't actually know. So, um, yeah. It's locked from the inside. Guess I'll have to find some way of getting in there. Possibly digging. The appears to be getting colder as I go on here. So I tried to finish the grinding, but it didn't necessarily work. Because the save point is telling me that there is one enemy left, and after pacing around looking for it for several minutes, I determined that that is not a random encounter. So I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find it anywhere, starting with the cave, of course. Uh, that's a door. Obviously, it looks like I just plain can't open this right now. The mushroom is squeaking and. Oh wait, I'm activating those. Or I suppose deactivating would be the better, better word. Can't do anything with the other ones, looks like. Okay, the door still won't open. I might come back and figure that out later. So maybe one of the random encounters is Sans, after all, or Papyrus, but... The confusing thing is that there's two of them, and I know I'm gonna fight both of them because genocide like that's a given so I guess I better just go back into town and enter what I assume to be Sanson Papyrus's house which is all decorated for Christmas and throw them in the fireplace I guess something along those lines and again skeletons don't really burn do they so that wouldn't really be very smart would it so, yeah. The whole town is decorated for Christmas, almost, I just noticed. Everybody is all nice and warm and ready for me to ruin their lives. Or end, end them. It's locked. Okay, I guess we're not going in there. Let's try the shed. It's locked from the inside. And we'll try going north. This... No pop has a mustache. I've sent the kids inside. Feels unsafe here today. Well, you're exactly right. Just knock on the door. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. I don't know what kind of voice I'm supposed to be doing. This is very stressful. I'm assuming that's a woman. Here. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. I'm gonna stop that before it gets even weirder. Is this some kind of iceberg factory? That's production plant. Okay, and this is a simple cliffside peering off into the ocean. Or some kind of great wall, maybe. Frankly, I'm just not sure what I'm looking at. So, how am I supposed to get into this house? I just have to keep making this guy or or woman orgasm more. Uh, huh. Well, I'm officially stumped. 
Am I supposed to go stay the night in the hotel? So I can take this ice cave. Should use that a while ago, shouldn't I? But I guess jump cuts work just the same, don't they? So, uh, I guess I'll just come back when I figure out what the hell is going on. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven that their souls don't need these things to exist. Marsh. Can't see shit. Oh dear, cutscene. Is this the final showdown? I suppose I should have done this the whole time, shouldn't I? I'm awfully silly, aren't I? Ha 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 ha. Human! Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. Don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great Papyrus, will be your... No. No, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. So I guess Papyrus is the last boss. Or, or not boss. You, you know what I mean. Nice hit there. Got, got some crazy eyes. So you are serious. Indeed I am. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Yeah, this is, a uh, real tough. Awkward silence. Oh, what the... You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> I'm blue now. I see that. So. Behold! Okay, so... This is, this is pretty cool. Really. So, I can only jump so high, it seems. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Dude, come on. I'm right in front of you. That's gross. Alright, 58 damage. Good. How high can you jump? Uh, about halfway to the top of the screen. I think the bones are going slightly faster. And these ones are taller. This is starting to become a problem. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. You see, everything in this game wants to rape this kid. It's, it, I feel totally justified. Oh, it's up longer to jump higher. Jeez, I, I figured that out. It's okay. This is just like that uh, thing on um, Google Chrome when the page isn't loading and you get to play as a dinosaur that's jumping over cacti for whatever reason. Papyrus is considering his options. What options does he have? I mean, it's not like he can run for me. That's not how RPGs work. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. I suppose I should have done the dramatic voice for that, shouldn't I? Special attack! Papyrus is cackling. <laughs> it's most, uh... I don't know what the word is you want yet. I can almost taste my future popularity. And pretty soon you'll be tasting my fist! Just uh, let that one go past. Oh, that was quick. Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. It is kind of losing it now. 
pretty soon he's gonna start wiping his the side of his face with a handkerchief and going <laughs> oh! uh, thumbs up if you get the reference oh crap I just wow well at least I was able to bypass all of that Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning I would too Papyrus I would too although now really isn't the time for that Papyrus unparalleled spectator I was basically turned into Flappy Bird. Ah, hey, that's not cool. Just kind of sucker boned me there. Papyrus is cackling. Yeah, you think that's real funny, huh? Sucker boned guy. Undine will be really proud of me. Yeah. Olympic bone jumping. Yeah. 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 This is pretty fun. Alright. Uh, tough, though. Definitely tough. I'm about halfway health. This is taking a lot out of me. For proving to be a worthy opponent. Behold my special attack! A dog chewing on a bone. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! <sighs> oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Yeah, that dog might have saved my life. <sighs> he has an absolutely normal attack. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I've quite seen this before, but that... Oh, that's, that's not normal. Bones are growing in size and hitting me every single time. I honestly don't know how to deal with this. Oh, and there goes the dog again. <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh, I can fly now. Wait, what the... What's going on here? Oh, dear. There's a dinosaur bone there. What the heck is up with this plush? Like, good thing I, uh... Had, had the random urge to hold the up button down. That, that was very helpful. And that last bone. Well, it's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah, I can say you're shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, that great papyrus, I like to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. <laughs> Well, I'm not sparing him. Off with his head. Alas, poor Papyrus. This is going to turn into a Shakespeare reference. I really hope it is. And in fact, I guess that's what that just was. Alas, poor York. Well, at least I still have my head. Oh, oh there he goes. And, uh, now I'm just... Now where'd I go? Oh, okay. Now all the fog is gone, and everything is just, uh, hunky-dory. And here's this cliff face that I... Okay, I know it's not a cliff face. I can keep walking. Should I keep walking? Uh, no, I'm gonna end the episode here, go back and save, and then come back here. Uh, yeah. This has been Cold Steel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.